All right, guys, it's been a minute since we have had this very special guest. But as soon as I knew, uh, as we saw the news here a few weeks ago, that was the first place I went because I, I always know that David is going to be on 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 the tail of everything that's going on here politically. But um, my name is Dr. Shorna Wolverton Sihan. We're very happy um, to have you. If you're new to the show, um, we're glad to have you. And if you haven't seen David Oates before, um, definitely go to his Facebook channel. And we have several previous episodes that we've had him on regarding reverse speech. And I've worked with him a bit in the past personally with some things going on in my life. And we can talk a little bit about that too. Um, but today's topic is going to be specifically about the Trump attempt assassination and any findings that David may have got. I have a few questions and I'm sure um, you guys might have some too, but welcome to the show, David. Glad to have you back. Uh, always good to be here. Thank you for having me once again. Uh, yeah, I am on the top of things. I'm like a dog chasing a tail, you know. <laughs> I, uh, I try to try to reverse as much of the current media stuff as I can. I mean, it's a lot of it's a lot of work, and I've got my own private practice as well. But I managed to get it all done. So. Yeah. So, um, I am very curious because those of you who are not fam familiar with his work, you have to understand. That because he has a private practice and because he works on so many different people, not individually, but also he'll do um, like recordings of interviews or things that are on the news or what have you and and get, you know, um, artists and politicians and different people um, to catch them and uh, analyze their reverse speech and then see what they're really saying in their actual conscious because um, reverse speech for those of you who aren't familiar and you can explain this probably better but basically the truth comes backwards you can say whatever forward but the truth is what comes backwards and um anyway i've been following david probably since the first time that trump won or around that time so it's been a minute and he stays on it but i want to know like with 9 11 you had worked with all these people privately and saw a bunch of things, um, you know, coming through that didn't make sense at the time. Um, that was like a corporate collective um, regarding this event, 9-11. Did you pick up anything about this attempt beforehand and uh, just really didn't realize it? What, on the Trump assassination attempt? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I did, actually. Let me, let me play you uh, a reversal I found on Trump. This was two weeks prior to the shooting. Uh, where is it? Um, actually, before I plan, uh, oh, here it is. Okay, so this is uh, this is two weeks prior to the assassination attempt when he's uh, giving a speech in Chesapeake. So let's let's play this forwards. Even fundraising, you know, we did more. We raised more money after this crooked trial than we've ever raised, I think, than any candidate. I think we raised over $400 million. Can you believe it? Back was, he says, crooks see this fate. Now, of course, crooks was the name of the assassination. Uh, Thomas Thomas Matthew Crooks. So here he, he actually uses his uh, attempted assassin's name in reverse. Crooks see this fate. Crooks see this fate. Crooks see this fate. Crooks see this fate. Crook see the fate, or this fate, one of the two. Do it again. Oh. Uh, play that again. You know what? For some reason, my software... Can you believe go. it? And then I found this reversal on him a few years earlier. But that means recognizing the right of every country, including our own, to look after its citizens. We would put other countries first. We had people running our country that truly didn't know what the hell they were doing. Well, this reversal says sinister tag, T-A-G, bullet. Sinister tag bullet. Sinister tag bullet. Wow. Sinister tag bullet. So uh, tag, I looked up tag at the time. It's got a several different meanings, um, but one of its meaning is... Uh, is an appendage to a main body, and of course, uh, of course, um, you know, well, Trump was hit in the ear, which is an appendage to the main body. So there you go. 
But the trouble with finding reversals before the event is that unfortunately you often don't know what it means until the event takes place. You know, like like when 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 Trump was shot and they said the assassin's name, I go, oh my gosh, I found that reversal two weeks ago. You know, so uh, so but of course when I found it, I had no idea what it meant. It was just a weird anomaly. You know, so uh, so reverse speech is fairly uh, has um, has a pretty good way of predicting the future. Um, with what I call future tense and premonition reversals, but it's very difficult to, in foresight, to predict ahead. It's easy to understand in hindsight once it's happened, you know, but uh, that's an aspect of reverse speech I'm working on, and I'll try to get the handle on as the years go on, you know, in, in, in foresight oh. pred predictions. So. Yeah, and um, for those of you who are not familiar, and this is the first time that you've seen David, David, can you just give like a, a cliff note of how you got into this and what? Oh, sure. Sure. And just what reverse speech is to you, how you use your diagnostics. Yeah. Well, I've been doing reverse speech for 40 years now. Um, it's It's been my full-time career uh, ever since that time. Um, uh, I, I, I started with uh, satanic mess messages in rock and roll and uh, you, for those of you who are old enough, you will recall that back in the 70s and 80s, there was a big controversy about if you play rock and roll backwards, records backwards, you could hear satanic messages. And so I, I started out there. I'm an electronics buff. I'm a ham radio operator. Got a pretty good ear for sound. And I heard about these rumors of satanic messages in rock and roll. So I went home and got out a player and played it backwards and I was started hearing hearing what the people were saying was there. And I go, well, that's really weird. What 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 is that? Uh, then I, I started full time research in eighty seven, and I soon found backward messages in human speech. Um, it's one thing to hear it in music, but to suddenly hear it in speech is a whole other thing altogether. Um, um, and in a April of eighty seven, I wrote my theory. And uh, my theory states that language is bi-level, forwards as well as backwards. And as the brain is putting the sounds of speech together, it's doing it in such a way that we're saying two things at once, one forwards and one backwards. Uh, now, uh, over the 40 years I've been doing this, I've been able to verify that that all parts of consciousness are speaking in reverse. You'll have the conscious mind speaking, uh, revealing hidden thoughts, it will correct a lie if a lie is spoken forwards. You have the unconscious mind speaking, which taps into uh, metaphors and archetypes and how personality and behavior is formed. And you have the soul or the spirit speaking in reverse as well. So it's uh, it's all levels of the psyche are speaking backwards. Um, so that's it in a nutshell. Um, I started, oh, excuse me. <coughs> I, I started using, using it in, oh. Hang on one sec. Uh, I've had a trace of a cold for the last three or four days. It's still hanging on. Um, I started using it in therapy in probably 89 when I took my first client. Um, uh, and I've been using it ever since. I, I, I have a very active ther therapy practice. I uh, work over Zoom. Um, most of my clients are overseas. And uh, reverse speech will give a very detailed description of a person's unconscious and how they're thinking and feeling, <coughs> what causes them, what causes their personality and behavior, behavior patterns. And, and I've de developed a uh, form of hypnosis, which is my own form, that restructures and rewires the unconscious. I don't have time to go into it how it works today. That we'll be here for the whole hour talking about it. So, yeah. so that's it in a nutshell. I started with satanic message in rock and roll. I heard it in human speech. I wrote my theory, and I've been traveling and teaching and lecturing ever since. So, yeah. Yes, and I definitely am really excited that I got to do about sixteen weeks with you, and it was extremely. Uh, life-changing is the best way to say it to this day when I go to sleep at night because I used to go to sleep to your meditations and sometimes still do um one thing that I realized is that when I sleep I know this is sounds really weird but apparently I wasn't actually like even though I was physically laying down I was not like limp laying down I was holding myself up I was like tense and I would always catch myself 
after I did your meditations, because you would say like, relax your shoulders, relax your knees, or you know, all the things. And now I kind of do like a step process before oh, I see, really? <laughs> because I realize, oh my gosh, I'm literally holding myself up all the time. And I'm like, how does, how do I get like that? But you've helped me be able to actually lay down when I sleep. Um, but besides all that, you uncovered quite a few things that I was saying that were kind of solutions in my situation through like my work, through um, my family issues and some other things that were going on at that time. So if you guys are looking to get some answers, you know, we're saying a lot of things forward and he can get us to say certain things and then uncover the answer in the backward speech, which is pretty cool. But going back to the whole topic, did you... um? One of the one of the people who had sent some messages, knowing that I was going to be talking to you, um, did you uncover anything else regarding like maybe another shooter or other people being involved? Or I mean, because there's a lot uh, of people who are saying this is a total, you know, um, Patsy kind of thing, JFK kind of thing, Manchurian candidate kind of thing. Um, do you have anything like that that you found? Uh, yes, I do. Um, I didn't find evidence of a second shooter, although I looked for it. Um, whether there was a second shoot or not, I don't know. But as to who was behind the assassination, or yes, I did find out who that was. You won't be surprised by the answer. <clears throat> Here is the, the head of the uh, Secret Service, the well, former head, she resigned, <clears throat> testifying towards Congress. And uh, she slips in reverse of who was behind the assassination. So here we go. I understand your question, Chairman, and I share your concerns about wanting to make sure that we have factual information. The FBI is conducting a criminal investigation. And this reversal says, and the CIA fight. The CIA fight. The CIA fight. The CIA fight. And the CIA fight. In other words, the CIA were behind the assassination plot. It should be no surprise to anyone who's been following this for, well, or at least all the years I have, the CIA were behind nearly every, every nefarious activity that goes on. So, yeah. Very so that's interesting. Was, yes, yeah. like even all the way back to, um, you know, JFK and all the other yeah. things. You right. Know. So all, all the way back. And uh, <clears throat> here we have the head of the Secret Service, um, Basically, you're saying that the whole scene was staged and set up. So uh, listen to this. What was your reaction when you saw the events unfold on Saturday? Shock uh, and then concern, obviously, uh, for the former president. This is an event that should have never happened. And here she says, our event full of shit. I have finished it. I have finished it. I have finished it. So what we saw and what we have been told is not indeed what happened. I personally, based on this reversal and some others, I personally believe that the whole event was set up. I cannot understand how the CIA would leave a whole roof unmanned in direct line of sight and how uh, uh, crooks managed to get in, climb up the roof, which I believe there was a ladder leading against the roof very conveniently, <clears throat> climbed up the roof, and, and and was able to get gunshot sight of Trump. It just doesn't happen. I mean, the only way that can happen is if it was planned or staged. It's the only explanation I, I have. So, but to be clear, when you say staged, are you meaning that Trump was involved in the staging? Or oh, no, 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 no. I don't think, <clears throat> I don't think Trump was involved. Now, I've been asked that, actually, by several times, you know, with the whole thing set up. No, the event itself was staged in terms of uh, leaving a whole roof open with line of sight and uh, how crooks got in. And um, that's that's what I mean. Yeah, well, there. I mean, there's a lot of speculation and some people are accusing him of doing this. And some people have said, oh, that's not even the real Trump, that the real Trump is you know wherever and he doesn't come out i mean there's so many weird things that are, are out there and it's just like um what are you seeing or hearing in the differences between the candidates that are coming up like what i know you followed trump for what yeah. 20 years or something oh, yeah what yeah. can you say yeah. about what you're hearing versus kamala or joe or any of that oh well i've heard all the stories that it's not trump um <laughs> yeah, i personally believe it was trump 
I think he was very, very lucky. Some would say uh, God protected him. Whether God protected him or not, I don't know. If he hadn't turned his head at that moment, he'd be dead. So he, at the very least, he was very, very lucky. And at the worst, he was protected by... Sorry, and at the best, he was protected by God. So, um, look, look, I know people say it's not the real Trump. They also say it's not the real Joe Biden, you know, and um, I, I, I just don't buy into any, any of those theories. Uh, I've found nothing like that in reverse that would hint that that is the case. I believe it is the real Trump and it is the real Joe Biden. And it was a pure stroke of luck that saved his life. Or God, you know, who knows? No. Yeah. Yeah, and in your experience, because you've been covering them decades, right? I mean, that's how I found you is I had had a dream uh, late 2000 and or 2007, I think was when it started. And then I, I choose to remember where I found you, but you had already started doing reverse speech with different political candidates and including Trump. Oh, right? oh I've been doing po politics since the 80s. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I always follow all the election campaigns. Yeah, I've got all presidents since. Uh, well, I didn't really get much on George H. W. Bush. I, I got a few during Desert Storm, but my my real investigation started with Bill Clinton, and uh, uh, of course with Bill Clinton, uh, I I found all these sex reversals on Clinton before the uh, Monica Lewinsky scandals even broke, and I started playing them on various radio shows. And I remember one show host said to me, "You don't." You don't like Clinton, do you? And I said, that's irrelevant whether I like him or not. He's up to some sexual shenanigans, you know. And, uh, of course, then the Monica Lewinsky story broke and we all knew. So, yeah. Wow. But I've been covering all presidents since then. So, yeah. And I'm interested in politics. It's, it's a personal interest of mine. So Same. Yeah. Um, in just a weird situation. But one of the things that I was... I guess drawn to you is just looking into one of the things that you had said with your years of following Trump is a lot of his forward speech is exactly the same backwards. Like what yeah, he it, forward is the same backwards, which is congruent, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. We call that congruent. He uh, really what you see with Trump is what you get. There's no uh, hidden secrets. Well, 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 we all have secrets, uh, but there's no hidden agenda. Um, you know, he's in it to save America, and um, and uh, that that shines out in his reversals. Um, uh, I'll, um, I, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to find a reversal that will verify that. Um, yes, I'd love to hear. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, look. This is this is. Uh, he's having a, a talk about someone's mother. Go home to mommy. Your mommy's waiting. I don't know who he's talking about now. Your lousy mummy, your mum is bored. Lousy mummy, your mum is more. Lousy mummy, your mum is more. So, lousy mummy, your mum is more. So he's having a go at the guy's mum's forwards and backwards, okay? He's being sarcastic forwards and he's sarcastic backwards. Um, uh, here he is again, uh, very, uh, a very positive statement about himself. You know, we put up $124 billion more given to Ukraine than Europe. Now, Europe is a lot closer. We have a thing called the notion in between us, right? Now, this is Trump's ego. Was a brilliant brain. Was it brilliant? Brilliant. Was it brilliant? Brilliant. Was it brilliant? Brilliant. And he has, he has you know, lots of off uh, reversals like that that, uh, that are pretty congruent and they're pretty much in... Uh, in line with uh, what he's saying forwards. Um, I'm trying to see what else I can pull up the top of my head that's congruent. Um, uh, so I'm just scrolling through all my reversals now. Uh, or do you have anything where he's indicating positivity towards America or wanting to help America or anything like that too? That would be cool. Oh, yeah. Look, I've got actually a lot of reversals uh, where he's... Uh, uh, he actually talks about America backwards. Um, Trump, here we go. Uh, where are we? Uh, let me just scroll through here. Uh, I literally have millions of reversals on my computer. Uh, uh, okay, so thank you very much. Everybody. So here he is on the campaign trail. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I love you people.
And he says, wake up, America. Wake up. So use the American reverse. So he's he's concerned about America. And here he is here talking about America backwards. Thank you, thank you everybody. So here's what happened. I got here and they all said we have a great crowd. We don't have time for the national anthem. I said, yes, we do. We have time for the national anthem. Okay, we have time for the national anthem. The backwards he says, "We love America." You know, America. Oh, that's not a good America, is it? Let's play it again. You know, America. Oh, it's there. You know, America. You know, America. It's not the best America in the world, but but you know, it 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 shows what he's what he's thinking. Yeah, we got time for the national anthem. We love America. Uh, Thank you. Here we have another one about America. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, wake up. Wake up. We are the best America. Oh, no, no, that's a good one. We are the best America. So in answer to your question, he uses the word America often in reverse speech. He talks about it with love and passion. Now, I have not heard America on the reverse of any other politician's speech, only on Trump. And uh, so when he says he's in this race for America to make America great again, he means it. Now, whether you agree with him or not, whether you agree with his politics or can he achieve what he's saying, that's a whole different question altogether, which we don't tend to get into. But he is congruent. Like him or love him, he's congruent. What he says is what he means, and what you see is what you get. And uh, you can't say that about very many politicians at all. That's awesome. What are you seeing with Camilla and some of the others? Uh, look, I've only just started doing Kamala because um, uh, uh, she's only just come onto the campaign trail. Um, uh, I don't have many on her yet. Um, she's actually been a bit hard to get reverses on. Uh, let me let, let, let me see what I've got. Or even uh, like J.D. Vance or uh, Joe Yeah, Biden. I've started doing J.D. Vance. Um, okay, here's, here's, uh, here's a Kamala on the campaign trail. It's She says, we sell God, we sell God. 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 So when she says, God bless the United States of America, it's really just a sales pitch, basically, to convince people that she's she's okay, all right? Uh, here, she, uh, here she calls herself a Wiccan, W-I-C-C-A-N, woman. Really important and will make it work is when all of the adults who are in that dynamic have respect for each other. Yes. And she says, girl, Wiccan woman. Her Wiccan woman. Her Wiccan woman. Her Wiccan woman. Now, whether you agree with Wiccans or not, I mean, I don't know whether she's a Wiccan, but that certainly, certainly sounds like. Wow. And, but she's got such choice language backwards. Um, uh, you're not uh, censored, are you? Um, I'll play you a really choice word backwards out of Kamala's mouth. From the high cost of living, so that they have a chance, not just to get by, but to get ahead. And she says, big, it's a, and it's a four-letter word starting with C. Make it such fun. Make it such fun. Make it such fun. Never heard reversal like that on Trump. And uh, here she is again with another choice word. We will ban more of those hidden fees and surprise late charges that banks and other companies use to pad their profits. And here she says, the blank, it's a four-letter word starting with F, the blank, but I'm a scab. In the past, I'm a scab. In the past, I'm a scab. In the past, I'm a scab. Yeah, there you go. 
So uh, currently, she's not uh, shaping up very well on the on the reverse speech front, but uh, that may change as time goes on. You know, as I do more reversals on her. But I've only just started. You know, she only just announced a couple of weeks ago, and she actually hasn't talked much. She's uh, she hasn't done a single interview since she since she announced, which I find rather strange and suspicious. You know, but as, as soon as she does, I'll be right on top of it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, well, what about, um, I know a lot of people are saying that Pelosi is the one who got Joe out, or do you have anything on her or anything? Um, you know what? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, she made a couple of small statements about uh, leaving, but I found nothing of significance. I, I didn't have enough audio. It was only small little clips about, you know, 15, 20 seconds of her speaking. Um, she hasn't given a whole speech. It, it's a bit difficult to get it on small little sound bites. I really need a whole lot, like thirty minutes, uh, to get a really good sampling. Uh, small sound bites, which is all Pelosi's done, are uh, not the best. I actually saw Pelosi on uh, Fox this morning saying uh, Joe Biden belongs on Mount Rushmore. <laughs> I was wondering what she was really saying with that because I just I saw that this morning too, and I was like, Good God, no one. I mean. There's... <laughs> Whatever. Okay, Biden on Mount Rushmore. Excuse me. Yeah, right no. next to Lincoln for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah I um, didn't really see that. We actually yeah. saw him. I, I, we were overseas um, for two weeks, and we went to Paris when he was there. And he drove by oh, really? twice and uh, in two days, and zero security. Like literally, one car in front, one car behind. That was it. Like really. Uh, Yes, and I've seen Trump on the road, and when he comes, he literally has, like, they have to shut down everything and the parade of cop cars and Secret Service and black, you know, I don't know if it's private security or what, but it was very different um, seeing Biden drive around versus, or be driven around, I should say, versus seeing Trump driven around. But um, anyway, back to JV, JD. Vance. Oh, yeah, JD fans, right. Yeah. Anything now, else? okay. Once again, I've only just started on him. Uh, two, uh, where do I have here? Uh, okay, here's a couple. I've I've only got a half a dozen on on him so so far. So he, so here we go. This he here he is at the uh, Republican National Convention. Ukraine on your watch. He didn't take an ounce of Ukrainian territory when I was president. So, but even though also, there were yeah, there were I some personal it. jabs. He says, "Will surf the soul win?" What's your name? It could be serve. Surf is a common reverse speech metaphor. Reverse speech speaks a lot in metaphor and archetype. And he's saying, yeah, we are connected to the soul and the soul will win, basically. So that's a good one. Uh, however, here we have a bad one. Uh, oh, oh, no, this is the bad one. Sorry, I, I read it wrong. All right, let's we'll just play it. I think it's actually important to be able, again, to admit that you're wrong. I think I can make a good pick case to the American people, people who may have been skeptical of the president back in 2016. They damn little people. They damn little people. They damn little people. They damn little people. No, what he's talking about Republicans or Democrats there. Yeah, it's a bit hard to, a bit hard to, uh, to uh, pick, pick that one. Um, he's a very uh, tall person. <laughs> <laughs> you could be talking about anybody who's little. Who knows? Uh, yeah, I don't know. And uh, here he is uh, um, talking. This was oh, this is his uh, speech at the RNC. He is all those things, but tonight we celebrate. He is our once and future president of the United States of America. And he says he'll bless you beyond. Here, bless you beyond. Here, bless you beyond. Here, bless you beyond. A nice, good reversal. He's obviously uh, cold. <clears throat> Sorry, I've had a really bad cold the last okay. week. Still That's hanging. Um, hey. There was. I'm trying to remember the girl's last name that wasn't invited to the um, the RNC, and then she was invited last minute. And um, Nikki, someone I cannot remember her name, but anyway, when she said, Hattie. "What's yeah, up, Nikki Hattie. Yeah. Nikki Hattie. Yeah. yeah, when she said that she was fully endorsing Donald Trump, she said, I'm fully endorsing Donald Trump, said her head. And, said, no. shaking her head. and I was <laughs> like, I wonder what David would say about this. You know what? No, I haven't reversed that speech. No. 
I might not yet. We'll see. We'll see how I get time. <laughs> well, and isn't it more difficult to do a speech because it's so planned and, you know, versus yes. this random ch child? Political, political speech is actually the worst place to find reversals. Um, uh, often they're reading a teleprompter. Um, you really need to have very natural, free-flowing conversation to get good reversals. Um, like in a normal room conversation with friends, I'll find reversals once every 10 or 15 seconds. But you go to a political speech and you may only find one F reversal every two or three minutes. So it drops off very dramatically. And uh, uh, politics is the worst place to find reverse speech, unfortunately. Um, uh, and that's because you don't have the spontaneity of speech. I mean, it's, it's, it, it's a very controlled, contrived, uh, planned out situation and reversal will drop off quite dramatically as a result. So, But I still get enough to, to do a good show you know so, yeah. have you ever tested um like elon or joe rogan or um, um robert <sighs> kennedy you know what i need to look into elon musk robert kennedy i have i've got quite a few on him um elon musk now i did him a little while ago uh, let me see if i can pull that up real quick i'm not even too sure oh, here we go elon musk Oh, I've got a few on Elon. I didn't realize that. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, I do have e Elon Musk. Okay, here we go. The, the smartest creatures, as far as we know, on this earth are humans, um, is our defining characteristic. Yes. Um, we're obviously uh, weaker than, say, chimpanzees and less agile, um, but we are smarter. Yeah. He says, I sell disease. I sell disease. Wow. Oh, yeah, that wow. doesn't put him in a, <clears throat> in a good light. No. But here's another one that does put him in a good light. More dangerous than, say, mismanaged uh, aircraft design or production maintenance or, or, or bad car production uh, in the sense that it is, it has the potential. Uh, however small one may regard that probability, but it is non-trivial. It has the potential of civilizational destruction. And he says, see, love lesson. See, that's lesson. Love lesson. See, that's lesson. See, that's lesson. Yeah, so that's a nice one on Elon Musk. So, uh, what else have I got here? Uh, i got quite a few. Uh, <clears throat> here he is again. I'm just pulling them out at random here. And, and my conversations with the, the board and management seem to confirm my intuition about that. But basically, I was convinced these guys do, do not care about fixing Twitter. Uh, and, and, uh, and the psyche savior. Psyche savior. Oh, psych. Not, sorry, some people pronounce it psych. I, some do it psyche. The psych savior. No, that's not playing. Play for me, please. Psyche savior. Psyche savior. Psyche savior. Yeah, so he sees himself as saving <clears throat> the human psyche, basically. Uh, now, Joe Rogan. Uh, yeah, he was just, he just had a live last night and, you know, he had a lot of things to say about us not going to the moon, about, you know, he said, that, you know, all these things have come to light really since the sea, which I'm not going to say the word, uh, a few years ago when all that happened in 2020, that there's been so much that's come out and he was just, he went off on this live. I mean, he was really, really, wow. Uh, you know what, I, I, uh... <clears throat> can't find him in my files. I know I've got a couple of them. Uh, oh, here we go. <clears throat> Joe, no, I've got no reversals in. Oh, um, no, no reversals in here. Sorry about that. No, no, no I don't, don't no. have any on Joe Rogan. Sorry. One of the news stations actually just put together a bunch of his words and made like this thing that sounds like him talking about Kamala. But really, he's talking about Ga the Lady Gabby over in, um, I think it's Hawaii, but basically saying she's going to win. She's going to win. But talking about her serving overseas in the military, but really, it's about a whole different person. But they they tried to put it off that it was about him endorsing her. And um, I, I don't know if they're going to get in big trouble for it. I think they took it down, but he is pretty PO'd about it and like said some stuff about it today. But anyway. What about um, Robert Kennedy? Do you have anything? Robert there? Kennedy. Yeah, I've got quite a few on him. Uh, let me uh, let me pull him up. Uh, Robert Kennedy, 2023. I've got most of my stuff on him. 
Uh, Robert Kennedy, RFK. Where have I got him? Robert Kennedy. Here we go. All right, Robert Kennedy. Um, <clears throat> let me find probably the most significant one on him. Um, where is it? Uh, um, okay, here we go. Let's uh, let's uh, let's um, start off. <laughs> Bill Clinton, Secretary of State, said, if you go into the Ukraine with NATO, I'm going to resign because you are forcing the Russians to retaliate violently. And Bill William Burns, who is now the head of the CIA. He says, I see with the headlines. Yeah, you see the headlines. Yeah, you see the headlines. Yeah, you see the headlines. That's probably not the clearest reversal in the world. Um, all right. Um Okay, he, he's a bit of a soul. He's a bit of a loner, Kennedy. Here he talks about it backwards. <clears throat> my my throat was much worse, and I went to Japan with Cheryl about six months ago and had a, a novel surgery that they only do in Kyoto. It says soul wolf, yum yum. So worth yum yum. So worth yum yum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wolf is a very common metaphor in reverse speech. I'll uh, hear it often. Uh, it's our drive, our motivation. Uh, he's uh, uh, identifying as a soul wolf, which he basically is, really, in, in this election. Um, but he's... Uh, uh, I'm trying to find the... Here's... Okay, here's one I'm looking for. Here he is, uh, very confident. We have a generation now when my uncle was president, 6% of the kids in this country had chronic disease. And he says, I am the one. I am the one. I am the one. I am the one. So he believes in himself. You know, uh, he's not going to make it to the White House, but he certainly, he certainly believes that he's the one who can do it. And he continue, he's going to stay in the race till the end, according to this reversal. We need to sit with each other and listen to the feelings and not walk away and not see each other as enemies. He says, yeah, we'll go on. Yeah, we'll go on. Yeah, we'll go on. Yeah, we'll go on. So these are pretty congruent reversals. Uh, here's another one on his VP choice. Oh, and they know very much I, they... Uh, that, the, that this struggle for indigenous rights has consumed a lot of my life, my personal and my professional life. I will notice success. I will notice success. I will notice success. I will notice success. So he's got pretty upbeat reversals. There's nothing about Satan or demons or evil in his reversals. I think uh, I think he's a pretty, uh, pretty congruent um, <clears throat> guy. What you see is what you get. Yeah, Trump's the same. Um, <clears throat> whether Kavanaugh is or not, <laughs> is I'll leave that up for you to decide. So that's RFK. What what else are you looking for? Um, I'm trying to think. Um, one of the you know things that you just mentioned was that you often hear Satan or you know bad things with different people. Like, are there is there anyone that comes to mind that that was saying something like that in reverse? Oh, well, Biden's the worst character. <laughs> Biden's the obvious one. Uh, he has some really quite <clears throat> nasty reversals. Um, I just let me just pull up his uh, Satan file. Huh, where have I got his Satan file? Uh, Biden, Satan. Here, here we go. Um, okay, here he is uh, about to take the oath of office. Talk about taking the oath of office. The team is tested and experienced. It includes groundbreaking Americans who come from different backgrounds but who share my core vision for economic relief here in the United States of America. And here he says, demonic oath. Demonic oath. Demonic oath. Demonic oath. And here he has uh, talking about Lucifer. Our administration is going to require mask wearing where I have the power to do so for federal workers in federal facilities, on interstate travel, like planes and trains. See the Lucifer. 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 And here he mentions Satan himself. More lives lost in a year 
in every major war in the 20th century and the 21st century. And guess what, folks? I mean, lives lost all around the world. And here he says, score foul Satan. Score foul Satan. Score foul Satan. Score foul Satan. He would be the worst individual I've ever reversed in terms of satanic reversals. They're everywhere. They are all through his reversals. Um, um, I, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, um, what about like Hillary, Obama, uh, Michelle? Like a lot of people think that Michelle is a man. Have you ever picked up anything with that? No, I haven't. Uh, I've looked for it. Um, I, I've heard those same um, <coughs> stories as well, uh, but I've found nothing to verify it. Uh, let me see what I've got on Obama because he's way back. Where Where is he? He's way back in uh, 2015. Um, let's have a look. Obama. Um I just think people get so carried away with some of these conspiracies. It's just like, come on, you guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh, I didn't know I had this one on Obama. Listen to this. I'm going to keep on taking actions on my own that can help the middle class. And I'll be killer. No, be killer. No, be killer. No, be killer. You know, that's actually not very clear. Sorry about that. Um, uh, oh, let me get to Hillary. Uh, uh, no, I'll have to. I'll have to go to my Hillary file. Uh, I think that's twenty sixteen. Hillary, Hillary. Here we go. Hillary comp compilation. Uh, okay, here's Hillary. Also matters when he makes fun of people with disabilities. <laughs> Calls women pigs. Okay, he's having a go at Trump, and I'll scam you. And I'll scam you. And I'll scam you. And I'll scam you. Clear as day. Um, uh, and then we uh, have. Uh, um, oh, this is an interesting one. Uh, Over the past year, I've laid out my plans for defeating ISIS. We need to take out their strongholds in Iraq and Syria by intensifying the air campaign and stepping up our support. And she says, I'll bring us war. So if she'd got into office, we would have wars all over the place. Uh, however, she didn't get in, Trump did, and now Biden got in, and we have wars all over the place. Uh, Israel, the Middle East, Ukraine... Russia. Um, here we have another one you on have Hillary. You to keep working to make things better, even when the odds are long and the opposition is fierce. And here she says, great Satan. Great Satan. Great Satan. Great Satan. So these are the reversals that are playing out in our leaders, and uh, they are not good. Uh, here she's one it's directly one admitting step. to lying. If you make something illegal, what are the consequences for that illegality? So it's really just a half a step away from what they've been saying for some time. Generally, hear the lie, do it. You know I do it. You know I do it. You know I do it. So she's lying. She doesn't mean what she's saying, you know. So, uh, and, uh, so yeah. what do you do with someone like who doesn't speak English? Like it, if you had something on Putin speaking right. Russian forward, can you do it backwards or does it have to be English forward or how does that work? Yeah, it'll be Russian backwards if you're speaking Russian forwards. Nothing I can do with Putin. I don't speak Russian. So, uh, so uh, no, I can't find anything on Putin, unfortunately. Okay. So, yeah, it's, it's in the language that you're thinking in, really, at the time. Uh, someone can be bilingual, speaking English, but their reversals will still be will still be in their native language, even though they're speaking English. So, uh, <clears throat> although generally what happens, you'll get half and half. You get half reversals in one language and half reversal in another, depending on how long they'll be speaking the second language. Wow. 
Well, anything with the FBI situation, you know, where they were trying to downplay the whole attempt and say, like, oh, it was an incident. It wasn't really a shooting. And, you know, just... Uh, the- you know what? No, I've done nothing on the FBI. Uh, uh, but thank you for asking me because it's suddenly gone on my list. <laughs> okay? Awesome. So I, I will... Uh, Find the FBI talking about Trump and reverse it. So there you go. That's awesome. that's on my list. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. And um, please tell us where we can find you. I mean, obviously you're on Facebook. I know yeah. you do classes and workshops in person. Right. You also do stuff online. You have your own practice. You also do remote practice. Like tell yep. us everywhere where we can find you. Well, the main place to find me is via my website, reversespeech.com. Um, I'm fairly active on my YouTube channel, so uh, I will upload all the latest reversals to YouTube. Uh, I have my own podcast, which I do every uh, Saturday afternoon, America time, on YouTube. Uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, yes, I have a very busy practice. Always looking for new clients. If you've got some problems or issues you want resolved, I personally believe there's no better therapy than reverse speech to solve them course i'm the founder i'm supposed supposed to think that way but anyway there you go um I, i'd like to say i'm fairly active on facebook i don't do other social media i've tried to but i i don't know i'm not that way inclined i, I tend to stick to my usual haunt so you'll i i don't do twitter or or tiktok or anything so you'll have to find me so yeah Awesome. Well, I hope you guys will take time to go find him on YouTube and maybe even get a session with him. I'm telling you, uh, the things that I was saying backwards were I was it was so confirming, you know, when I was just even trying to figure out like which what what to do in some situation. And there are apps and you can use that. And I've actually trained myself, like, for example, I was trying to decide if I was going I was going to um uh, holistic animal convention and i was trying to decide if i should fly in to one airport where i could maybe drive a little bit and see some of my family or i could go to the one that was closest to the event and pay a lot less and um be able to get in you know really quickly because it was so close to the event and i was torn because i kind of felt bad spending extra money and all of that stuff and so i taped myself forward and then I played it back and when I played it back what I said is I'm so homesick I'm so homesick I'm so homesick and I said okay it's worth paying extra and I went ahead bought the extra plane ticket had to rent a car to drive extra and you know that was the last time I got to see my grandmother before she passed and so it ended up being really good that I did that because I would have been really upset with myself and you know we can find out what our true heart is our pure speech is saying just by some of those kind of things. So I, I really do encourage you guys, yeah, to, to work with David. If you're trying to figure out something, he has got some tools to really help you. And I just appreciate your work, sir, so much and so much honor and um, love to you and all that you do and all your students. And we'll get you back soon and get an update. That'll be great. Awesome. Yeah, I'll, I'll get on the FBI for you. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. And you guys can go to um, drsharnell.com. Um, there you can go find all my books, my resources, my online classes. I do have a podcast, as, as some of you know. And now we have a wellness center that is active and alive. And I'm seeing patients in person and also remote as well. So we'd love to see you. If you guys have any issues, I'm here to help and love you guys so much. We'll see you next time and have a wonderful rest of your day. All right. Talk soon. Bye. Oh, thank you.